Hello my dear friends, welcome to the Java programming playlist. In this video, you are going to see the user defined exception in Java programming. So we have already seen what are the built in exception in Java. Now we can, we are going to see how we can define our own exception. What is user defined exception? Let us first see that. In Java, we can create our own exception that is known as customized exception or user defined exception. We can have our own exception message. All the exception must be a child of a throwable class. So what is said here is that all the exception must be a child of a throwable class. If we want to write a checked exception that is automatically enforced by the declare rule, we need to extend the exception class. If we want to write a runtime exception, we need to extend the runtime exception class. So my dear friends, what are these types of exception? So checked exception are those which we can handle using the try catch and there we write our own exception and enforce the declaration rule. But if you want to write the runtime exception, that means for these exceptions, we cannot have a try catch. It should be handled by JRE that is Java runtime environment only. Then we have to extend the runtime exception class for that. Here is the example. So we have a class demo user exception extends exception. So we know that to write our own exception, we have to extend the exception class, especially when we want to write the checked exception. Here we have this private integer ex demo user exception integer a then ex equal to a. So there is some value which is passed in this and that will be assigned to this variable ex. Public string to string. This method will be called by default when the exception is raised and we try to print something about the exception. So by default we know that any object dot to string method is called when we write that into the println method. So what it returns is it returns my exception and the exception uh, this number is less than zero. So here I guess what we are trying to do is you are trying to handle the exceptions when this value of a is less than zero. So here is the complete example class demo exception static void sum integer a integer b that throws demo user exception demo user exception we have just created in the previous slide. In this method it is checking if a is less than zero So this value of integer a if it is less than zero then it throw new demo user exception else it prints the a plus b. So here this a and b are added and it will be printed. Now when this throw is executed, it should be handled by try catch. But here this exception that is new demo user exception is thrown by this method with the keyword throws. Now when this throws is written, met whatever method is calling this sum should have the try catch or it should handle that exception by some means. Here is the public static void main in this try sum 10 comma 10 and sum minus 10 comma 10. So first is sum 10 comma 10. It will go to this method and something will happen. Then we have some minus 10 comma 10 it will again call this method sum and something will happen. 
now we will see the output and then we will try to understand what has happened here is the output of this program so first line will print 20 and second line will print my exception minus 10 is less than 0 now let us see how it is happening now here the output is 20 and my exception minus 10 is less than 0 so let us see how it is happening so first we are writing this sum 10 comma 10 it will go to this sum method my value of a is 10 my value of b is 10 it will go inside this sum and it will check this if condition a is less than 0 so no my a is not less than 0 it will go to the else part inside the else part it will have system dot out dot println an a plus b so a plus b is 10 plus 10 which is 20 and hence the 20 is printed here now the second time this sum is called with the value minus 10 comma 10 so when this is called so a is minus 10 and b value is 10 it will go to this if condition if a is less than 0 yes because a is minus 10 it will go to this statement that is throw new demo user exception a now demo user exception is here a is minus 10 so minus 10 will be passed here then ex will be given the value a which is now ex will be having the value of minus 10 and this object is created using this new keyword but it is not handled within this demo user exception because there is no try catch here so here it is written through so that means it will throw this exception and that is indicated by this keyword throws and what it throws it throws an exception of the type demo user exception now this exception is thrown and it should be handled from the place where the sum method is called so here it is called and here we will have now an exception of demo user exception it will go to the catch part catch demo user exception e now this is the exception which matches what the exception is actually raised so it will go inside this catch block and here we have written system dot out dot print ln e now e when we write any object here in the system dot out dot print ln so by default what is called is the two string method of the object now here we can see that two string method it is returning a string which will be printed using uh, this print ln method which is my exception and then in the bracket this ex so ex value here is minus 10 if you remember my dear friends here this object is created of demo user exception with a a value of minus 10 this a value is assigned to ex hence the value of ex is minus 10 here so my exception ex is minus 10 so it is minus 10 here and is less than 0 so the total message here is my exception minus 10 is less than 0 so that will get printed with this method system dot out dot print ln i hope it is clear my dear friends how we can define our own exception and how we can handle it thank you for watching this video stay tuned for more videos on java programming